that's what a lot of people really struggle with is finding what uh, what their what brings them joy and challenge and keeps them engaged and and I think that's what keeps people alive, you know, longer and keeps them happier longer. I think people get bored and get disenchanted when they no longer have challenges and are no longer doing things that they enjoy doing on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But then I would encourage them to try, try, try different, you know, try many things and then you find what you like and then you know, ask yourself open up questions and then your subconscious will find the answer. Yep. So the brain works. I love that. What's the quote? Uh, find what you love and let it kill you, right? Well, hopefully it doesn't kill you, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mind is a very is a very interesting thing, and you know, it's been a time where I think a lot of people have not had, you know, they haven't had all this normal stimulation, and I think it's given them, in general, a lot more time to reflect on themselves and. And other things as well, just life in general, that they normally are so caught up in the rat race that they just don't normally consider these things. So I'm hoping it's a time that I know a lot of people are stressed, but I hope it's a time where, you know, people can actually gain something from it too and come out the other side, you know, improved or, you know, with a better perspective or understanding of things. And, you know, because like we've talked about, you know, making, we're never going to achieve utopia on this planet, but, you know, it's, it, it's, it. it's a constant effort of making things better all the time, every day, little mm -hmm. by little. And I think if we all kind of keep that perspective, it'll be, a, you know, we can actually have a, a future we're all happy to be a part of.